Hello guys, Sendo here again. So today's video is on the 5 minute talk and uh, today we're gonna talk about the differences between Western side of Splatoon and then Japanese side of Splatoon competitively in specific. And uh, this is of course something that uh, regularly comes up when uh, there's tournaments with uh, both Japanese and Western teams in it. And uh, most often the Things you see said are some variation of Oh my god, West sucks so bad and Japan is so good or whatever But uh, that's not quite what I want to talk about today primarily What I want to talk about is the different mentality I've seen between uh, Japanese and Western players and I've been playing against Japanese players for a long time now since uh, since the first thing storm since 2015 and I, I think like overall throughout these two years there's been like uh, one thing that always I thought was different so I think uh, I would argue that uh, on Japanese side of things the players are more team focused and Western people are more individual focused I think there are various explanations why this might be I think one of my like, um, I think my, one of the most likely theories is simply that uh, in Japan, uh, competitive players tend to get to scream a lot more. The scene is bigger, so there's more screams around. And also that uh, they don't have a, they don't really have a type of culture or way of doing things where they would be teams that stay together for a very long time, but instead there's more pickups and uh, teams get more around build around the weapons that people play it, versus invest. It's more like first you choose people and then you choose the weapons in many scenarios. And uh, I think just the thing that you see like version co like um, competitive players do much more like solo and not so much scrims. So they kind of develop this mindset where it's individual for, before the team, basically. Because, you, you know, you don't get that much team practice, so I think it's natural why this will happen. But where, where this shows is uh, especially lack of, uh, like, inking weapons. Like, even the lineup we run is definitely very light on inking. There's not really, like, any dedicated support player, but I think this is the case for many teams. And do you know how common Brella was in Inker Galactic Cup 2 just last week and it's just one example of this I think. Uh, like uh, I think in Japan it's more common for the players to you know put the team ahead of themselves and in West it's more like people are st st stuck playing what they are comfortable with instead of what would be the weapon that helps the team win the most likely. If that makes sense. So for example I'm the most comfortable with Rage Blaster, but uh, maybe it would be that uh, if I play some uh, other weapon such as Brella, it helps our team win the most, so then I should pick Brella instead of uh, Rage Blaster. And uh, I think this is something that uh, almost almost every team have, have this in some form, where people are stuck playing weapons they are the most com comfortable with and are very resilient in changing weapons to benefit their uh, playstyle or not playstyle, I mean to fit their team basically and uh, I don't think actually in level skill wise West is that far away from Japan I think uh, maybe the best Japanese players have better in level skill as well but I don't think that's really where the difference is made I think it's just the uh, Team play where the difference come, and yeah, I think that's just about what I want to talk here. If any comments? Please leave some, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.